Hi, uh, my name is Senator McFucking Boyle. I'm out here by a national park that I've never been to, that I've actively tried to, you know, bulldoze and destroy. And I'm gonna try to relate to people because I'm wearing khakis and I'm wearing a green, like olive, o uh, olive green shirt, so I can relate to the youngsters. Now, I am on the Senate, or I'm on the Congress, I'm trying to ban TikTok, and currently uh, I've been getting some backlash on it, and I just wanna, I I'm just here to answer some questions too. Yes, yeah, you there in the back. Uh, yeah, what are you doing to combat fentanyl? Right, okay. So, uh, I don't really care about people overdosing in fentanyl because fentanyl is a regulational drug. I think I said that word right. I don't know the meaning of that word. Uh, but since you brought up drugs, I'm going to try to be banning cigarettes, vaping, and marijuana. But I'm not going to ban fentanyl. I don't care about homeless people overdosing. Hey, you right over there. Uh, yes, sir. Were you on Epstein's Island? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm hearing you out. I'm hearing you out. So I'm... I'm gonna answer that by going to a next question. Uh, pfft, yes, that reporter that has my merch and is wearing my stuff with a camera that's seen sponsored by John McFucking. Yes, you. Sir, didn't you pass a bill allowing the Willow Project? Right. Okay, yeah. So, uh, the Willow Project, uh, basically Alaska is a very, 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 very small state that has absolutely no economical advantage to have or to own. For anything, it's like smaller than the state of Hawaii for all I know and care. So, uh, I'm just gonna say fuck that wildlife, uh, fuck the Native American culture. Uh, Alaskans aren't actually people, no one lives in Alaska, Alaska doesn't have a whole lot of culture, so... Who cares, really? <laughs> yes, one of the Asians in the back. I'm not gonna assume what kind of Asian you are, because that'd be racist, but I'm just gonna call you a generic Asian person. And, uh, that will be responded on Twitter by me, saying that I did not know the meaning of what I just said but I am indefinitely a secret closeted racist. Yes, you. Sir, do you care to comment on the allegations? Okay, the allegations aren't true, all right? I did not pay, I did not, no, I, I did not pay for sex with that prostitute, with that man drag queen prostitute. I did not do that. Okay, yeah, so what's your question? Sir, didn't you say that you were gonna do everything in your power to get teachers not right. fucked? Right, 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 right. All right, I know in my campaign I did talk about giving teachers better funding and more materials and for more supplies but also uh fuck teachers and fuck the schools uh, i could really care less about schools and the public safety of kids and just the general education of kids too uh my kids personally go to a very prestige private school that I actually bribe the administration they get them in so really i could care less uh to the reporter wearing all camo jeans and a red flannel shirt with a don't tread on me hat that's recording with a broken iphone 3. What's up? Uh, yeah, uh, what are we doing to prepare for World War Three with China and Russia? You know? Right, okay, okay, alright. I see a uh, China and Russia situation, and instead of uh, funding and making sure our government and military and military... I'm just, I, I don't know what I'm saying, but I will say that oh, well, we are not preparing ourselves for World War Three, and we do not care about China and Russia's advances to overpass the USA and to invade us, but we are really concerned about TikTok. Yes, to the guy with the uh, very vintage jacket, glasses, and Doc Martens smoking very, like, expired cigarettes, saying it's an aesthetic. Uh, what's your question? Yeah, uh, why is your wife so much younger than you? Okay, uh, do not ask why my wife is about 18 years younger than me. That's not important. And I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna chop all these trees down, bulldoze it down, pavement. This is gonna be a Walmart and maybe a subway, and then a couple feet away, like you see that spot over there? It's gonna be another subway. Yeah, that's right, I'm crazy. I'm putting two subways next to each other, but for some reason, both of them are gonna bring in a shit ton of revenue. I'm just gonna scrap that question. Uh, I'm gonna be talking to the 17-year-old reporter that actually has both AirPods in right now, and that's wearing a bathing ape uh, fucking hoodie. What, uh, what's your question? And this is the last question, because I, I, I value these questions a lot. What's, uh, what's your question? Yeah, I was wondering what you think of Kanye. Okay, what do I think about Kanye? Uh, never really got into his music. Uh, his, his type of, his his people's, I mean, his, his music isn't really for me, but I do agree with a lot of his statements. That being said, I'm going to walk off camera and I'm going to spend a $14 million vacation with me and my wife and with kids that I'm not entirely sure are mine. So, thank you. Yeah.